with another video. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be installing uh, Subi LED H11 bulbs on the, nope, on the Outback. <laughs> so if you like Outback stuff or just curious in general about how to install uh, LED bulbs, um, I'm gonna be going over just how easy it is um, to install, to, to basically convert your halogen stock ugly yellow bulbs uh, to LEDs. Um, it's very simple. It's huge, huge difference. Uh, I actually have the same bulbs. In a video a while ago, I actually upgraded these bulbs. Um, they used to be in my fog lights in the STI, but I switched over to the diode dynamic uh, stage stage series um, fog lights. So what I did is I took those bulbs that I was running in there and put them in here. And the great thing about them is you're able to change the color that to you want with with the, uh, the colored film that comes with us, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but what I did is I just took off the film and I'm just running them just as the white, the, the base, you know, the normal color that, with no film on it, in other words. Um, and they produce here, let me turn them on real quick. You guys get an idea of the color. Uh, they look so much better. I'm really happy with the, the actual output and how they perform at night. Um, and they just up, I mean, they used to look like that pretty much, which is the, which is what we're gonna be changing tonight. Um, but now that they're different, my wife was like, I don't like that it doesn't match. And um, I posted up a video and Subi LED was kind enough to send me uh, these to match. So thank you to Subi LED. Thank you to Jacob uh, for sending these out for me. I have H11 X3 uh, bulbs in there. And these are the same ones or very similar updated version to the ones I have in there. Um, and they sent me some cards, which are pretty cool. Uh, they actually have also these which you can actually write your, it says spot to buy and I can write my Instagram, um, you know, my, my handle, my, whatever, my account there, so I can stick it on people's windshields. So um, I can spread the word about Subi LED and how great they are, uh, as well as kind of just helping, uh, helping uh, some, some enthusiasts out uh, by showing them where I get my LEDs from. Uh, but they were also kind enough to send me some interior bulbs uh, which are LED as well, so I'm gonna see if these fit and throw them in there. And um, I don't know if my wife's gonna like them, uh, but I appreciate it. I'm definitely gonna try them out. I like them. I know I do, but uh, we'll see if she does. Um, but like I said, she she saw these and she was like, "Why don't those match?" So I mean, she has, she loves these. She says she you know can see so much better at night and just the cut off and the color, everything looks great. So. Um, Thank you again for Subi LED. So I'm gonna show you just how to install these. Uh, it's a little bit more work because you gotta go in through the, um, the under tray there or through the wheel well. I don't know which one is easier, but uh, these are a little bit easier because you just pop the hood and they're right there. Uh, but this you kind of get, gotta get down on the ground. But I'll show you real quick. Um, but this is the before halogen. It's gonna look very similar to that. Keep in mind, this is a projector and this is just a normal halogen uh, housing which I don't know if you can sell in here, but as you can see, there's no projector. It's just the bulb and it reflects in the housing there. Um, so it's gonna, it, it may look a little different just because um, this is an actual projector uh, and, and it kind of distributes the light a little bit differently, but either way, it should match really well. Um, so let's get started on the install. All right, so before I get on the ground and start taking the, uh, the panels off and getting access to the bulbs, um, I wanted to open them up first and kind of show you what's included in the kit. Um, this is just a, a, a sleeve, as you can see on the side here. Um, it's marked H11, um, and I believe that's it. It doesn't say what model or anything on here, but um, when you order them on uh, on their website, um, you know it has, it has all different different series and models and uh, price points and everything like that. Um, so, also. Real quick, um, if you guys are interested in getting some LED bulbs, I, st I actually still have uh, some Subi LED bulbs in my daytime, or I, they're not my daytime running lights anymore, but my high beams. Um, I forget what model they are. I think they're the 3S or S3s, I forget which ones. Uh, but either way, uh, I run them in my highs and they're awesome. I just use, I used to have them with the yellow film on it, um, but I have since changed. Now I'm just running the white. They're pretty, pretty darn bright. Um, I'm really happy with them. So I am still running some Subi LED bulbs in my uh, STI. So I'm really happy with them. Um, so if anybody is looking for to upgrade your WX, your Outback, your STI, whatever, um, if you want to get some LED bulbs, they have all different sizes. 
uh, be sure to go to subialed.com and I actually have a code for you guys. Uh, if you type in STI freak, uh, all one word in the, um, in the checkout in the little, uh, I don't know if it's like a promotional code or, or a discount code or whatever. Um, just type that in and you'll get 15% off, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so definitely, definitely throw that in there so you can get some, uh, a few bucks off when you get some bulbs, but, um, they ship really fast. They're really nice guys over there. And I've been, I've been running these Subi LED bulbs in my STI since I got it. Um, now in the app back, I have them in the STI. I've actually had a couple different sets in the STI. So I was trying different ones and everything. And again, they have never failed me. I've had those, the ones that are in here, uh, I've had for like two years. The ones that I have in the daytime running lights, I've had them for three years. Never had a problem, never had to change them, nothing. They're awesome <laughs> and they perform, which is the best part about it. You know, they're not some cheapo uh, looking looking bulbs. They, uh, they do a pretty good job. I'm really happy with them. So again, uh, I used to get this question so often when I had the yellow film on in these, I used to run them as my daytime running lights. Um, I used to, so many times, I can't even describe, I can't even count how many times people have asked me where I got those bulbs from because they were so yellow and it was just a film wrapped around it, which I'll show you in a sec. But um, yeah, they're, they're just awesome. I get so many questions on them. But this is what's included in the kit. Um, this is the X3 uh, model. Um, so this is the actual bulb. I showed you in the other video when I was doing the bulbs of what these look like, but they're exactly the same. Um, I have a nice three LED uh, set up in there. It has a nice clear uh, or a nice cover on it. And <clears throat> pretty nice. So these are the film that it comes with. Actually the, the 3S ones that I have in here, they actually come with a few more colors. I don't know if it's three different sets or, or three or four, but either way, um, this is the darkest yellow that they offer. And also uh, this is the darkest blue. So uh, they also had a little bit lighter yellow in the other ones. And I think a little bit lighter blue, but I'm not sure. And you can also run them just like this, which is the way I'm gonna run it. Um, I asked my wife and she wanted yellow and she said, no way. <laughs> so, uh, because it doesn't match, of course. Um, but for me, I like yellow and actually the human, I'm a big lighting nut, if you haven't noticed. Um, I've done retrofits, I've done a ton of stuff in the past, uh, so I know a lot about lighting. But um, the human eye can actually depict yellows, orange and yellows, better than blues and whites and purples. Um, so if, you know, if you, you gotta look on the, like, the Le Mans cars and everything, anybody that races at night, race cars and all that stuff, you know, you gotta ask your question why they're running yellow lights. Um, it's because the human eye can, can see better with yellow lights. Um, it's, it's, it's not as draining, your eyes don't get as tired. Uh, you, know, you know, if you have purple or blue or, or really white lights, um, your, eyes, <clears throat> your eyes are more prone to, to uh, I guess, getting tired and um, fatiguing a little bit more. So yellow is definitely easier on the eyes, but you know, again, that's personal preference. You're not, you're not, you're not doing a 24 hour Le Mans race or anything like that, especially in the Outback. But um, I, like a, you know, I just prefer the yellow. Like I said, I have the Dynamics yellow, um, uh, SS3 bolt, uh, fog lights in there. So I just prefer the, the yellow look. That's just like the JDM in me. But either way, you have that choice. So if you want to run yellow, you can run yellow. If you want to run blue, you can run blue. I never tried the blue, so I don't know what that looks like really. Um, or you can run just the, the just the white that it, um, that it, you know, is stock, I guess you want to say. You also get a little Allen key there. So you got a little Allen screw there. So I guess you can adjust the tightness of it um, and you can pivot the, the um, the body so it sits just right in the car uh you know every application is different there's there's this is an h11 uh application or fitment um so you know and there's tons of cars tons of different applications that use h11 so you know it could be a little different it could sit a little different so you have the option of um loosening that and kind of pivoting uh the the bulb because you want the leds um in a specific orientation especially if you're using them in a projector uh so with with the um with like the chrome halogen housing, it's a little bit different. Doesn't really matter which way these project, um, but it, or which way they're sitting. But in a projector, it's a, it's a little bit more specific. So you do have that option, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, that's what you get in the kit. Uh, it's pretty cool. You get a little product manual here. Let's open this up and see what it is. Um, oh, cool. So I I know most of you probably know how to change bulbs or change the LEDs, um, but again, this is more of an informative video of how to change a bulb or how easy it is to change from halogen to LED. Some people look at it and they're kind of just, you know, uh, discouraged just seeing 
you know, wiring and plugs and they don't know what they're doing. So I just kind of want to show you how simple it is. Um, and not only does it uh, update the car, but you're actually getting better performance. They, <clears throat> they run much cooler than halogens, so they're using less power. They last, I, I've never had an LED bulb in the history of my car years ever go out on me. Um, you know, back in the day when LEDs were first kind of coming out, uh, you know, in cars, they weren't that great. Um, and even then I never had one fail on me. So now that the technology has greatly improved and LEDs are becoming, you know, the, the new, uh, you know, like kind of stock uh, way of, of, of lighting in cars, um, they, they've taken huge leaps and bounds over the years and, and the technology is there now, so, which is really awesome. So now that you have, you're kind of updating the car, you're getting better performance, and they're running cooler, so the car is not working as hard and using as much power, which is great. So you get a little pamphlet here with the different applications. Um, as you can see, H11 is pretty uh, common. There's a lot of other ones that are very similar, um, but if you are running any of these, um, you know, you have directions just how to do it. You show the little plugs and everything. So pretty cool. Um, again, I've done this a million times, so I, I know exactly how to install them, but I'm just gonna show you exactly how to do it on the uh, Outback since it's pretty easy access, there's a lot of room and everything. Um, and I'll just show you the actual difference. So let's get to um, um, get into the actual bulb. So let's take a look real quick. I'm pretty sure it's kind of dark, so sorry. Yeah, there's some access points right here or there's uh, the little clips. I'm just gonna pop them out and I'm gonna have access to the bulb right here. It's gonna be right in the back. Very simple. Um, I'll show you once I get it out. I'm not gonna show you how to take these clips out because I'm sure most of you know how to do that, but um, yeah. So let's get this off and uh, then I'll show you what to do next. All right, guys, I figured I would just show you because um, obviously if I'm showing you how to install the bulbs, I figured I'd show you just actually how to get to them. I know every application is gonna be different, but um, I'm specifically working on a 2018 Outback, so I figured I might as well show you. Um, all you gotta do is just get a little screwdriver. These usually break. I have a stash of these, um, so I'm not that upset if these break. These things get so brittle, I hate the clips, but <laughs> tried to do it on, on camera, but um, these things never cease to kind of want to come out. All right, let me get this out of the car <laughs> and then uh, I'll update you guys. All right, so I'm trying to get the camera up in there. Um, but there's the plug. I'm simply just going to unplug it, then you twist it. Um, I, I'm not sure which direction, uh, but you'll figure it out once it just starts loosening up. It's either obviously counterclockwise, or usually it's counterclockwise, but just twist it out, and then um, I'll pull it down, I'll plug in the new ones, and I'll show you just what the difference is. Now this is the stock bulb, um, as you can see. It's an H11, it's made by Osram which is a pretty uh, common stock bulb that most people use or most uh, manufacturers. Um, this is the Subi LED one. Uh, it's very, obviously it's bigger, but there's so much room. Um, so I guess you wanna be conscious of that depending on where you're putting these bulbs. Uh, if there's a lot, it's a really tight space. I guess that's the only drawback to them. Um, as you can see, it's, it's much bigger. Um, but either way, this, you know, this is a fog light application, which usually has a lot of room back there, which you know, doesn't really matter the size of this. Um, but with halogen bulbs, you want to be careful. I'm wearing gloves just because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Uh, but also, if you're not if you're not using gloves and you're handling uh, halogen bulbs, you do not want to touch the um, the glass on that because the oil from your fingers, whether you have oily hands or not, doesn't matter, um, gets in there and it can prematurely, uh, you know, wear the bulb down. So, and also you'll see. When the bulb kind of goes out eventually, you'll notice um, there'll probably be some fingerprints on there and it kind of looks a little burnt and everything. So be really careful when you're handling those. I mean, I don't care. I have a million of these things laying around just from over the years. So um, if I ever do, well, when we do trade the uh, Outback back in, I'm gonna put those back in. Um, but again, you know, I, I, don't, I don't touch them. Keep your hands off of them um, and, and you'll be fine. But uh, as you can see, the rubber seal on these is pretty nice. You know, it's actually a little bit thicker than stock. So uh, these should, uh, these fit really tightly on the, uh, <coughs> on the, on the low beams. Um, so I don't have any uh, doubt that these are gonna fit really nice. So um, as you can see under here, I think somewhere, 
uh, I guess you can't see it. Yeah, but there's the plug. Um, I'm gonna plug them in there and I'll show you what it looks like. So before I actually install it into the housing, uh, I just wanted to test them to make sure everything is working because you don't want to do all that work. And Jesus, these things are great. You don't want to do all that work and have to take everything out. So uh, obviously you just want to test them. Uh, the nice thing about these, they actually have a longer wire. So now that you have a little bit more slack, it's easier to handle. Uh, but I'm going to pop them back into the housing. Let me show you over here just so you can see the difference real quick. Um, that's the halogen and then those are the really bright LED ones. So let me pop them in and then I'll show you what it looks like in there. <laughs> All right, so I got one side done, as you can see. Kind of just washes out in the video, but it's a perfect match. Um, pretty, pretty sweet. And I'm curious to see what they're all at, like at, at night, um, but you can see, oh, I guess you can see the difference. So that's the halogen, this is the LED. Um, it's a little bit more widespread as the halogen is more of just like, has like one big hot spot. Uh, it just kind of directs the light in one area. This kind of spreads the light out evenly. Um, and you have a little bit more of actually visibility on the side over here, which is really nice. Um, and as you can see, it's a really perfect match. Looks awesome. I'll show you over here just for uh, comparison. The halogen and LED. So, <clears throat> But yeah, like I said earlier, um, counterclockwise to take them out and then clockwise to, to tighten them back in. I just got to button up the uh, little tray in the, on the, underneath there and uh, I'll be done. I'll show you kind of the finished look, um, but I'm really happy. They fit really snug with a lot of aftermarket LED, you know, cheaper brands. Um, you know, you'll put it into the, into the housing and it'll be really loose and it'll wobble around. Uh, but these things seal really tight. They have a really thick uh, rubber seal around it, which I showed you before, um, which is great, and it just seals really nice. And you can feel just you can feel that the bulb actually get tight in the housing, so it's like a wobble or move around or anything like that. So, which is awesome because <clears throat> I've never, like I said, I never had any problems with those LED, these LED bulbs in the STI. I can I can only imagine I'm not going to have any issues with them in the uh, Outback. So, let me finish up the other side, and then I'll wrap this video up. All right, guys, uh, finish up the install on the, the fog lights. Um, again, very simple, same thing on this side that it was on the other side. Uh, but now we have a very nice matching LED set. Um, and my wife will be happy because now they match. Uh, as you can kind of see, I guess, underneath, this is just that, the top one here, that's from the, uh, the low beam. This is from uh, the fog light. So you can kind of see the, the difference and kind of where the light spreads. Um, I, like I said, the the, Housing is different. Projectors will be uh, always be a little bit more clear because it's actually projecting the light and there's glass as opposed to just like a halogen um, housing because it's just reflecting. So it's it's gonna look a little different. It's not gonna look as, as white and clear, but also these are two different materials, you know, sheet rock and that's cement um, or concrete, I should say. Uh, but either way, really happy with this. Um, actually, before I end this video, I'm going to install the um, interior LEDs that they provided with provided for me um, and see how they look. Um, who knows if I'll keep them in because uh, I don't know if my wife's gonna like them but I know I will. Uh, I do already have LEDs in my car um, but uh, let's get to installing these. I'll show you how to install these as well. I guess I'll make it uh, one cohesive video for anybody that's interested. So but yeah that's the uh, end result of the LED I guess upgrade on the um, on the Outback. Uh, we got about, let's see, about a year left with this car. Uh, so we are going to upgrade to something bigger. Um, not sure what it's gonna be yet. Uh, I have some ideas, but uh, either way, I'll be taking these bulbs out. And um, if it's the same the same size in the, in the next car, if they don't have nicer headlights to begin with, um, I will be using these. But if not, I have some spare sets. I can use them in the STI if I want to, or any other car or maybe I'll sell them, who knows. But either way, um, I love these bulbs. Huge thank you to Jacob and, and Subi LED uh, for providing me these, these lights. Um, and like I said, be sure to use my code STI Freak uh, at checkout and you guys get 15% off, which is pretty sweet. Um, so, but before I end this video, let's get to, uh, let's try installing the, the uh, interior lights real quick. All right, so here we go. Uh, real quick, this is what the stock uh, bulbs look like 
Um, there's also one in the trunk back there, which is not on, but I will replace that as well. Um, this is what the stock looks like. Uh, these are a little bit, I haven't gotten to these yet. Oh, I haven't looked how to pop these out, but I'm sure it's pretty simple. But this one, um, I already took the liberty to, uh, you just get a screwdriver or a, pr or a plastic pry tool, pop it in there and it comes right out. So um, <clears throat> as you can see, this is what the stock bulb looks like. It's very yellow, um, very dated, whatever. <laughs> doesn't look that great. Um, so, and this is the uh, Subi LED uh, replacement bulb. All right, that's done. I mean, I only did that one so far. I just wanted to show you the difference. Um, only thing you gotta do is the little metal prongs that the that this goes into. You just have to bend them a little bit because this is a bigger bulb, but it fits very snugly or snugly or snug. Um, it's not going anywhere. Um, the nice part is these don't get hot. So um, it, it runs much cooler. And uh, as you can kind of see, where's the bulb? I don't know where I put it. As you can see on the stock bulb, let's see if you can really see the difference. But you, uh, you can't really tell on camera but it is a little black a little burnt um so as you can tell this was probably on its way out eventually but these things get so hot i mean be careful when you install these or install the led ones that you don't have these on because they get really 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 hot you'll be surprised and shockingly uh shockingly surprised about just how hot these get so um be sure you have them off for a little bit before you handle them but yeah I'm just going to here, I'll pop it on while my camera. Obviously you gotta make sure the LED is pointing down, um, but it's not going anywhere. Slide the cover, pop it back in, and bam, there we go, LEDs. Now I'm gonna get to these. I'll just show you, uh, I guess the finished product, I'm not gonna show you how to take them out again, because uh, it's the same concept. I will do the trunk one as well. And uh, again, I said it like six times, but let's finish up this video after this. All right, guys, done. These were a little bit more of a pain in the butt just because they're hard to get the covers off. Uh, just be careful you don't scrape anything, but there you go. Uh, pretty straightforward, nice and bright. Uh, that one's in. Uh, I just gotta do the trunk one and then I'll be done. Darn, unfortunately I can't change this one. This is a different type of bulb. Uh, this is more of like a uh, 197, I think it is something. You know, it's an actual looking bulb as opposed to the feasting bulbs like up there. So probably not gonna end up changing it just because, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I can't change that one. Damn. All right, guys, thanks for watching. A uh, quick little little uh, install on the Outback, um, you know, with the interior LEDs and the uh, the fog lights to match. Um, I know it's not it's not WRX or STI related, but it is a Subaru and it is lighting, so maybe somebody will be interested. But either way, fun little mod. Now it matches. Feel much better now uh, when I'm driving or my wife is driving. Uh, I feel much more uh, confident that there's much more light on the road, and it just looks way better. So he, again, huge thank you to Jacob and Subi LED for providing these, uh, for sponsoring the video, sponsoring me uh, throughout the years, especially with the STI, now the Outback. Um, so pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I've been meaning to change these bulbs for so long. Uh, now that I finally did it, I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Uh, they're very reasonably priced. So if you guys are ever looking for any type of LED bulb, be sure to hit up Subi LED. If you guys do decide to get some bulbs from Subi LED, which I obviously recommend, be sure to use STI Freak at checkout and you guys will save 15%, which is awesome. Everybody loves saving money. Um, uh, me too, I always do, who doesn't? So that's definitely really cool. So again, thank you to Jacob and uh, Subi LED. I uh, really appreciate it. Looking forward to driving with these. Um, I'll kinda, I don't know if I'll do it in, in a separate video. I'll probably just do it in another mod video or update on the car. I am washing it this weekend, finally. Um, so maybe if I get some driving time with these um, before uh, I do do the video or I do wash the car and if I do a video update or something like that, um, I'll let you guys know what I think of these. But I can already tell uh, I'm, I'm much happier with the output and especially how it looks. So thanks again. Um, if you guys haven't, be sure to like the, like the video. It really helps me. Uh, if you're a newcomer, be sure to subscribe. If you guys have been subscribed for a long time, thanks for checking out the video. And uh, I got some more mods coming for this car. So stay tuned and I'll check you guys in the next video.